Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. This is the Northwest Highlands of Scotland. It is a landscape photographer's paradise, but it rains a lot, as you will see in this video and many others to come. I'm at the beginning of a road trip in my camper van, which started in last week's video. If you haven't seen that, there will be a link in the description below. And the road trip will finish in the Outer Hebrides, which lie 24 miles off the coast of Scotland. But for now, my camera bag is packed and I'm going in search of an old friend. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Still in Scotland, still in the van. And I'm gonna begin this video by searching. Not for a photography composition, no, no. Searching for Mr. Adam Gibbs. If you don't know Adam Gibbs, I'll make sure I link to his channel below. But he's here, he's flown over from Canada and he's in Scotland. And as far as I understand, he is somewhere in these woods. The problem with these woods is, is they're big. There is a network of footpaths and they go all the way up to the mountain. So we will go look for Adam, look for a photograph and try and do it all before it gets dark. So I haven't found Adam yet, but I have found a lovely subject, although lovely doesn't mean easy. <laughs> I found a subject that is a blooming nightmare. But I reckon now I'm in the position to shoot it. So one of the problems with this shot is that I saw this really cool subject, but <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't get a, a view of it. It was constantly the view of the subject is being blocked by other trees, or if you get to a point where you can get a view of it, the sky is in shot and that is an absolute no-no that just destroys the shot in seconds. So the subject that I'm shooting is this beautiful old Scots pine that seems to me to be half dead or certainly has dead limbs that have snapped off but it's arcing over and it's that arc that caught my eye and from where I am now it's like a tunnel it's like a tunnel through the woods and we have this beautiful central focal point of this arching tree with just this collage of color and because I'm shooting this f5.6 which pretty much on this lens is wide open we get you know we have, we have a lot of tree a lot of wood between us and the subject all of that is out of focus the stuff that's close to the lens and again the background is also out of focus so we've got this real soft painterly abstract image I quite like it I don't know it's one of them where I'm looking at the thumbnail on the back of my screen and I think okay this looks pretty cool but who knows when I see it on the big screen, I'm not sure, but well worth stopping and shooting. F5.6, focus on the arcing tree. Perfect. Oh my God. Hey guys. So after catching up with Adam and meeting his friend Paul and chatting well into the fading light, it was time to drive through the darkness and find a park up for the evening. All right, well, good evening, everybody who joined me, snuggled up in the cozy van. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if there's a better place to be, especially when it's cold, windy, and rainy outside, which is exactly what it is. Um, yeah, shortly after that last photograph, uh, when I met Adam and Paul, it got dark very quickly, as it does at this time of year. So we all jumped in our vans. Paul and Adam are staying in Paul's van. Uh, got a nice little park up close to a beautiful location, which we hope to shoot tomorrow morning. But uh, the weather forecast is looking pretty grim. Uh, tomorrow's going to be bad-ish, but then the next day is going to be awful. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next couple of days. But for now, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm going to enjoy my comfy bed, get a good night's sleep, and see what happens tomorrow morning. So, I'll bid you good night, and we'll see what we see. Yeah, I have no idea. Good night.
Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, wow. What a miserable morning it is. I've been lying in bed uh, trying to find the willpower to get up and make a nice cup of tea and uh, have some breakfast because outside is just brutal. I mean, actually, at the minute, it's not raining. But it's been windy and hammering it down for most of the morning. Uh, so on days like this, motivation for photography, in fact, motivation for anything can be difficult. So we'll have breakfast and uh, we'll take it slowly and we'll take it from there and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Scotland. <laughs> Oh, oh man, it's grim outside, it's really grim. It's that kind of rain that absolutely soaks you through. You know when you stood next to a waterfall and, and the wind's blowing the spray in your face? It's exactly like that, so it's impossible to shoot in. And it's only gonna get worse for the next two days. Like I think tomorrow's gonna be torrential in this area. So we're gonna drive east. We're gonna drive east to Glen Affric, which is a beautiful location, especially at this time of the year. And we're gonna hope that there's no rain there, or at least more manageable rain. So I guess it's a bit of a road trip and a photography adventure. So it seems that we were a bit hasty by deciding to drive the long journey to Glen Affric because where we were camping last night, I think that that area is just getting a ton of rain from the mountain because we've driven like two miles down the road and it's not raining, we've even had light. So forget what I said about going to Glen Affric. We are gonna stick around the Torridon area and uh, hopefully, take advantage of this beautiful colour, it's unbelievable. So you can see uh, how ridiculously wet I am. <laughs> it's been pretty grim but now all is calm all is well so we've got these beautiful scots pine two scots pine in a bed of golden color with a beautiful mountain in the background there are one and a half problems with this two problems the first problem is there's a road about 500 yards behind my trees now it's pretty well obscured but i can just see it in part of my image this straight this unnatural straight line uh, there's nothing i can do about it um i think the shot is strong enough to uh you know it is worth shooting the other problem is just in front of my camera here there's this little uh, this this little sapling and it's getting right in my way so i've had to just compromise a little bit on the position of the camera because this sapling keeps poking into shot and that's a that's a tip a tip i would always give with landscape photography is check the edges of your frame look for anything you know creeping in the light is happening the landscape is just singing it's just glowing golden brown ah, beautiful mountain of background clouds weather atmosphere i'm at f11 focusing on the main tree in front of me light catching the other tree annoyingly cars going past but this is a such such a nice scene very very pleasant and well worth the soaking
So it looks like that was our uh, <laughs> that was our two minute window. The rains are coming back with a vengeance. So trying to keep everything dry in these conditions in this van <laughs> is a real challenge. So I'm trying to dry off my camera gear as often as I can and wipe it all down. And uh, oops. And yeah, we'll just uh, try our best. I mean, that's all we can do. I still think coming out in these conditions, it's well worth it. Absolutely well worth it. And I'm not too concerned about a damp van. I've got my heater, my um, diesel heater, so that'll dry things out. It's just a challenge, you know, getting out, making food, sorting yourself out. When it's torrential rain, it can be a real struggle. But uh, I don't know, my uh, spirits are high, so feeling good, feeling good. So I've just stopped for an image. The rain is starting to come in. I can feel it spraying in my face. I'm gonna to have to be quick with this, but essentially lovely cops of trees. So I'm gonna lock focus on my subject, which is the trees. And then we're at F8, just sweeping the scene, make sure that I've got no highlights that I'm unaware of, make sure it's all well exposed. And we're just going for a panel left to right and try and get this in and done before the rains really start to hit because it's coming in my face which means it's more than likely hitting the lens. Even though I've got the lens cover on, there really is very little you can do. Uh, so we'll see. Ah, so there we go, one panoramic of this beautiful group of trees on what is a miserable, dreary, yet beautifully atmospheric day. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, good evening, everybody. We have left the lock and we are now cooking some dinner. We've got to go having a gourmet meal, a gourmet meal of roast vegetables and fish cakes, all cooked in a single small ridge monkey. This is where I'm gonna try and keep everything warm. But, oh God, this is gonna go everywhere. Come on, in you go. Yes. Oh, if I can fit two in, if I can fit two in, come on now. You can squeeze in there, can't you? Come on. Oh, that is, that has just made my day. I feel like this was quite an ambitious meal. It looks like it may well have just paid off. Oh, what a mess, what a mess. So I think it was quite ambitious with the Ridge Monkey, but I uh, don't know how well you can see this there. <laughs> there we go, fish cakes with roast Mediterranean vegetables. And uh, perfect time as well, because the rain's just started. So I'm gonna go and eat this and uh, enjoy a bit of time away from the camera. So I've had a, a nice meal, which you, uh, you just saw me cook. It was delicious. Um, and now I'm in my van ready to go to bed. If you've enjoyed uh, this video, by the way, and you're not a subscriber, 
uh, yeah, definitely consider subscribing because there's a lot more of this to come. Um, tomorrow, which will be next week's video, looks like it could go either either way. It looks like it could be a complete washout or it could be like unbelievable. Like we've got heavy torrential rain until midday, like severe weather warnings, wind, rain, lightning and thunderstorms at midday. And then after midday, it's sunshine and heavy rain showers. And when you get sunshine and heavy rain showers, man, that is a magical combination. That's tomorrow. And that's also next week's video. And I already suspect my expectations with that one are way too high. And it's probably just gonna be a washout and drizzly all day. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, give it a subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. And thank you so much for watching. Before I go though, a quick message from today's video sponsor. If you're a photographer thinking about getting your own website, why not consider using Squarespace, who are of course the sponsor of this video. Uh, with Squarespace, you can build a website yourself without any coding or web building experience. It's, a, it's an online platform where you use their drag and, drop, drag and drop system. You can register your own domain, have a nice online gallery and online shop. It's all connected to, you know, it's very, very, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, very connected. It is, it, it's great. And you can pretty much do everything from the Squarespace, Squarespace platform. I can't get my words out today. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for a nice website, um, go to squarespace.com forward slash heaton and give it a free trial. And if you get stuck at any point building your website, you can pretty much use Squarespace's 24 seven customer helpline, which is handy. Or as I say, every time, uh, go onto YouTube and uh, find a nice video and you'll be away in no time. Uh, so yeah, if you give it a free try, you enjoy the free trial, use the offer code HEATON for 10% off your first purchase. So yeah, get your own nice, beautiful looking website with Squarespace.